I'm Jen Houston and welcome to my brand new cake channel, Shut Your Cake Hole. That's right, we're gonna discuss cakes, cakes, and cakes. I am a baker in New York City. I am one of the original founders of the baking company, This Chick Bakes. Get the name of this company, <laughs> This Chick Bakes. I sold it about four years ago and now I am baking for my own enjoyment and hopefully for your enjoyment as well. Today, I'm gonna to talk about edible images. If you're like me, please God help you, please don't be like me. If you're anything like me, you love to have a very artful cake, but maybe you're not an artist per se. I can't even draw a circle. Know what I'm saying? So I discovered edible images. The thing that's a little bit of a drag is that sometimes it can maybe be a little cheesy. Full disclosure, I love cheese. <laughs> When I say cheesy, I mean simple. I found a way over the years to spruce up my edible images to make them super, super special. Today, I am making a Dia de los Muertos cake with this image from an artist that I love. I ordered this image from a company called Ink for Cakes. I'm gonna turn this into a 3D spectacular image. The other way I'm artfully adding character to this cake is I have made my own cake board. And if you don't know how to make your own cake board, I'm gonna show you how to do that in another episode. Let's get started building that cake. I am going to make a two-tiered vanilla bean buttermilk cake. Just layering this up with some vanilla cream buttercream. All right, so let's talk about this image that I've chosen. I'm gonna separate this little band of roses and make her a separate entity and affix both of them onto about an eighth of an inch layer of fondant. It's gonna be a little bit labor intensive, but I swear it's gonna be worth it. and I'm gonna give her an actual rose for her hair made of fondant. Let's give her some eyeshadow. I'm gonna use some of this turquoise disco dust. All right, let's get these cakes covered in white fondant. Boop. I'm gonna add a little border before I add my lady. All right. I'm just gonna wrap her around the base here. Now I need to add my little band of roses. I've decided to add more little features to this. So I have this little skull and crossbones mold and I am making just a couple of them. I think I might throw just a touch of red sanding sugar around the perimeter of this buttercream. I think she's done. She's kind of cool. Doesn't look like any other cake I've ever seen before, which is really all I'm after. It's all 100% edible, delicious vanilla buttermilk cake with vanilla bean buttercream and homemade fondant and a homemade cake board. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you have a mind to leave me any shitty comments in the comment section, mm -mm, you better shut your cake hole. <laughs>